So as you know, with Axion, one of the main purposes of the token is staking and earning Bitcoin dividends. Out of our total supply, only over 72% is staked and over 40% is staked for 15 years. And so far, in the last few months, we've paid out 168 Bitcoin to these stakers. Some of these stakes are huge. I think the largest one I've seen at the time of staking for 15 years, the value of the tokens were $800,000 which is insane. Um, and this is why we're we're trying to educate people about hardware wallets like a Ledger Nano. And we're currently doing a giveaway where you can win one of 100 uh, Axion branded Ledger Nano S hardware wallets. In the past, it's not been possible to migrate away from a, a software wallet like Metamask. Of course, there's many reasons for, for wanting to be on a hardware wallet, mostly security. If you're using just a software wallet like MetaMask or Trust Wallet, your seed phrase or your private keys are actually stored on the computer. If your computer gets hacked or you get a nasty virus, you run the risk of your seed phrase being stolen, which means all of the accounts tied to that seed phrase could have the funds drained. So we always recommend that people uh, use a, a hardware wallet like a Ledger Nano to create their stakes. In the past, it's not been possible to to import a MetaMask wallet into a ledger, but we've now found a way of doing it and you can import all of your accounts, not just account one, you can import two and three as well. So we recommend doing this. If you've got any existing wallets that have got long-term stakes on them or any value in them, we recommend following the steps in this video to import your account over to your, your brand new ledger. And then once you've done it, uninstall MetaMask, which is gonna remove the seed phrase from your computer. So here are the steps. This is a brand new ledger. I've just got this out of the box. If we plug it in, you'll see it asks us to set it up from scratch. So you can set it up as a new device, which will create a new seed phrase and a new empty wallet, or we can re restore from a recovery phrase. So we want to do that. Choose a pin code. So for testing purposes, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four. Confirm the pin code that you just set. Okay, recovery phrase with 24 words. 18 words or 12 words. So mine is a 12 word one and it will be for everyone with MetaMask. So I'm gonna select that one. And now it's gonna ask you to enter the words. So on your computer, open up, well, you've, you've probably got this on, on paper somewhere, your original 12 word seed phrase. But if you haven't, you can simply load it up on your computer, open up MetaMask and enter your password. Now it doesn't matter which of your accounts you logged into, because they all come from the same seed phrase. So simply click on the profile icon, go to settings, go to privacy, and reveal secret phrase. Now when you do this, ideally you should just be doing this on paper. You should write it down on paper and only keep it on paper. Never take a photograph of this seed phrase, never take a screenshot on your computer, never copy and paste it and email it to yourself or anything like that. You're just asking yourself to get hacked if you do any of those things. Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm going to reveal this seed phrase in this video because there's no money in these accounts. Uh, so it doesn't matter. So reveal secret recovery phrase. Enter a password for MetaMask. And now it's going to tell me my 12 words. So with those 12 words on the screen, I'm going to open up the ledger and enter the words in one by one. This is going to take some time, so I'll speed up through it.
Okay, I've entered the 12 words. And now let's see if I've done it correctly. And it should import the wallet. Your device is now ready. So now the Ethereum app is installed, let's go to MetaMask and let's click on the icon and go connect hardware wallet. So if you haven't already used a hardware wallet, there is one setting you need to enable first. Go to settings, advanced, scroll right to the bottom and enable use ledger live. Once that's enabled, it will allow you to connect a hardware wallet to a ledger. So connect hardware wallet. Okay, it's going to ask me to confirm. Ethereum bridge opened. Now I come back to here. And it should populate with a list of accounts. Here we go. So these are the three accounts I'm looking for. E356, we can see is the first one. But the second two are not coming up. These two are different. If you click here, and change the HD path from Ledger Live to BIP44 standard, MetaMask Trezor, and click Save. Now you'll see that accounts one, two, and three uh, are all the correct ones that you've already that you had in MetaMask before. So now I know that I can recover these. I'm going to remove MetaMask completely. Yeah, because it's the only way you can wipe MetaMask from your computer is to uh, uninstall the extension. So I'm going to remove from Chrome. And then I'm going to go to MetaMask.io. Make sure it's the official website, MetaMask.io. Download, install for Chrome. And I'm on the Chrome, Chrome Google Store. Add the extension. And once the extension is added back in, it will be a clean slate and it will be wanting us to create a new wallet from scratch. Okay, now MetaMask is installed. We need to create a new wallet in order to then import the hardware wallets. Sounds a bit strange, but it's the only way of doing it. You don't want to recover the seed phrase. Sure, we've got the seed phrase here. But we don't want this seed phrase to exist on the computer anymore. We don't want this to be online or connected to the internet in any way. We only want this to exist in the hardware wallet. And that's what we've we've restored. We've recovered it into the hardware wallet. We now need to get the hardware wallet connected into MetaMask. So the only way of doing that is, is by setting up a new blank wallet. So we'll go create wallet. We'll set our password. And we will, again, never copy and paste these, but just for the for ease of this video. Okay, now we've created a brand new account. This doesn't matter. We're never going to use this account because this is a, a, a software wallet. This is connected to the internet. So if you want, you can click these three lines here, uh, account details, and just rename it. Change it from account one to don't use or whatever you want to call it. Because we're trying to get everything moves across to a hardware wallet rather than a software wallet. So now that's done. Now we can access the MetaMask menu. We can go to profile icon. And now we can see connect hardware wallet. We're going to have to enable a setting first. So under settings, advanced, scroll to the bottom and turn on use ledger live. Once that's done, we can go profile icon, connect hardware wallet. And we're going to pick ledger. Now the ledger live software is going to open up and ask if we want to use a device bridge. Yeah, click open. And then on the device itself, no, no, it doesn't need it. 
So we wait for this connector hardware wallet screen to come up with the wallet addresses. And again, we're not seeing the correct ones here. We're only seeing the top one is correct. The second two aren't. So click here to change. Change from Ledger Live to BIP44 standard. Click save. And here we go, bingo. We've got account one, two, and three. Unlock those accounts. And now in the MetaMask menu, we should have don't use, that's a software wallet, Ledger 1, Ledger 2, and Ledger 3. Now these are now much more secure. They don't exist on the computer as a software wallet. They only exist as an imported hardware wallet. And without the Ledger con connected, there's no way you can actually do anything with these accounts. And there's no way a hacker can steal the seed phrase either. So if I go to Ledger 1, and there is a little bit of money, there's $47. If I try and send it across to Ledger 2, and I'll send, just try and send a tiny bit, $3. I'll click Next and Confirm. And it's not going to process. What's going to happen is Ledger Live is going to open up. Open Device Bridge, click Open. And of course, it wants me to connect to a hardware wallet because that's the only way we can do a transaction now that we're actually using a hardware wallet. So I connect the, the ledger. We enter the PIN code. One, two, three, four. And it's asking to open the Ethereum app. Okay, the bridge has now been opened. And now if we go and look at that transaction, it's, it's now pending. It's now been authorized because we connected the app. Actually, here we go, review transaction. So in order for this to actually go, I need to accept it here. So I'm gonna reject it. There we go. And as soon as I rejected it, it came up on MetaMask has failed. So we now have our three previous wallets safely connected in a hardware wallet, which is much safer.